Hi, Seth here with BlenderSensei.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a free add-on that comes shipped with Blender called 3D Navigation. To activate it, you can press Edit, Preferences, and then click the Add-ons tab, and just check the box next to the 3D Navigation add-on. So if you've ever been messing around with Blender's free add-ons that it comes with, and you're uncertain of what's actually changed when you activated the add-on, a good way to find that out is to click it open and under the location section here, there's a readout of where you should be able to find the add-on. So this is located in view 3D and then the sidebar, which is also called the UI shelf, which we can come over here and open. And then it is located under the view tab. So if we click view, and then close up these uh, some of these default panels that are open, we can see what the add-on has added, which is this 3D navigation panel here and this pan orbit zoom roll. What's neat about this add-on is it actually has a special feature that most other add-ons don't have. It has this additional little uh, area here. And if you wanted to place the 3D navigation and the pan orbit zoom roll menus that it adds onto its own separate tab, you can just, just call this nav and as soon as we click, we've got a new tab over here. And now the add-on just lives on this custom tab, which is a nice feature. So the 3D navigation add-on has been out for quite some time. A good deal of its features, especially in the actual 3D navigation tab, could just be simply replaced by the new buttons that were added to Blender 2.8. For instance, we have these align view. Let me go ahead and dismiss the preferences here. We can align to front, left, top, back, right, bottom views. Uh, but of course you can do that with the little widget here as well. As well as the perspective orthographic buttons. But we have that same button here. And then we have view camera, which will hop us into the camera view. But we also have that accessible here as well. We do have a view global local button here, which this will take whatever you have selected Usually that's one object, but it could be uh, several objects and it will hide everything but what you have selected and zoom in on it. So if we click that, you see it hid the camera there and zoomed us in on the cube and the lamp that we had selected. And this takes us back to the regular view of everything. So if we duplicated this cube a couple of times, this would better demonstrate the functionality of this. Uh, so this is really for like when you have complex scenes or a lot of stuff's getting in the way, for whatever reason you have that. Then we have a lock view to object field here, which we can select an object. And what this will do is always make us focus and rotate around whatever object we have selected here, regardless of what we actually have selected in the 3D view. So say, let's add a uh, Suzanne head here. Say no matter what object I had selected and was working on, I always wanted to rotate around Suzanne. We can do that. I didn't actually have to select it there. I could have just used that eye picker. So see, I'm rotating around Suzanne when I rotate the screen, but I could click on another object, but lo and behold, I'm still rotating around Suzanne. So that can be useful occasionally. Another interesting thing that this does is if we actually click on Suzanne, which is the object we're locked to, and then press G to grab, notice that the entire view <laughs> moves as we move the object, which is kind of neat. So that's kind of what's really going on when you're looking through the camera and if you have the view lock on the camera. So if we do that, then we can actually move the camera around from within the camera the same way that we uh, navigate the 3D view with our mouse and hotkeys. So it's kind of doing a similar thing to that. And then we have some cursor tools here. This will snap the cursor to the origin, which it's already at. But if we were to shift right click and we have the cursor somewhere else, this will just quickly get us back to the origin point. I think this add-on could be useful for people who are new to Blender or they're trying to migrate over from a different software that they're used to, as well as probably being useful if you're on a tablet as well. So let's take a look at the second menu here, which is, I really, I really think this is the most useful aspect of this add-on. So we just have some very basic buttons to do basic view operations. And once again, this could be you know, really helpful for people trying to get used to Blender. So that's really who I, rec I recommend this for. 
So I think you get the basic idea here. Not a whole lot to this add-on, just a useful quick little tool for those who are new to Blender or are trying to get used to its hotkeys or if you find yourself in an environment where you don't have access to your regular setup. Okay, so for the sake of thoroughness, I'm gonna go ahead and read the entire documentation for this add-on. Definitely don't have to watch this part of the video if you don't want to, just making it available for anyone who wants to listen to it maybe while they're fooling around with the add-on. Maybe I'll inadvertently say something useful that I read <laughs> while you're messing with it, who knows? But totally up to you. Okay, so 3D navigation. This custom menu is in part a virtual numpad emulator and a user perspective navigation tool. Activation. Open Blender and go to Preferences, then the Add-ons tab, click 3D View, then 3D Navigation to enable the script. Interface. Located in the 3D Viewport sidebar view. This add-on is split over two panels. 3D Navigation. This panel provides some common navigation tools and emulates the numpad shortcuts. Uh, it, emul it emulates View Global Local. View perspective orthographic, view camera, align view, front, back, left, right, top, bottom, lock view to object, view to select, cursor, etc. Pan orbit zoom roll. This panel provides incremental user screen view perspective navigation in the sidebar. And then it <laughs> proceeds to give a description for up, down, left, and right. I assume most people know what directions are. Uh, zoom in and out, zoom the view in and out, roll left and right, roll the view left and right, and that's it. So props to those folks for maintaining and creating this add-on. That's going to about do it for this video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave this video a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And let me know down in the comments below if you plan on using this add-on, if you think it would be helpful to you at all. If you've got some interesting ideas for use cases, stuff like that, that would be really cool to share with me and everyone else. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.